Okay. Ladies and gents, welcome to the DLC. Because that's what I'm going to do it. Because I found out that the main quest just ends the game. They don't let you do anything after you finish. They just like roll back just before you finish the, the final quest. So because of that, we're going to go ahead and do the DLC first. And then we'll do the main quest. I don't know why the reward for the main quest is plus one skill point. What is the use of skill points anymore? Yeah. Okay. Are you all ready for the DLC? Because I am ready for the DLC. We are going to finish the DLC tonight. And we are going to finish this game tonight. It shouldn't take more than eight hours. So, that's good. Let's save here. Oh, I'm excited. New content. The reason why I want to do the DLC is because it has new weapons. And uh, I want to said use new weapons in the final fight. Okay, that lightning is uh, needs to make up its mind. What are you doing, Aloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides the useless mistresses. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. Right? You had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking, Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Lori. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Hmm, catchy. I'm surprised he's back. Why is this here? The way down? Oh, it's another way up. Okay. I'm so excited. I get to use my new staff. I get to see new weapons. Maybe my... Elemental bow will be useful. I'd have to leave something else behind. Is this fire? Whoa, whoa, what is that? This one's a new predator. I see the heat coming off it. Weakness is ice. Blaze canisters, weakness is fire.
Whoa. I have 16,000 Ridgewood. I need to fix that immediately. Got too much already. Just walked up here, apparently. I guess. Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Outlander? Not that you'll stay long. Oh my god. That Some looks rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? That looks awesome. Little bit of framey, but it looks awesome. Ray's been gone a long time, but she will return. I must believe she will return. going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Trust Rhea, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are. Shame. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. 
Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin sees the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! In your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The Daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Huh. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. <laughs> Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. 
a challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah, a land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuke with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. And Orea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratak and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Orea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon. Or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Orea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Werricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, yeah, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. Some Werricks come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest Werex. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Werex has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed and the shamans have their heads in the clouds. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, hmm, how do I put it, uh... Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuk camp. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm-mm, it's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it, something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratak could tell me more about Araya or Thunder's Drum. Might be worth a shot. The hunt is taking me far from the cut. You seem sad, stranger. 
I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lalai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din? What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So Deep Din is a place and a musical instrument? Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now, but our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it, or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy or remembering? So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. I don't understand it. There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than I'd ever seen it. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? I see a merchant. <gasps> New boss! Yes! And new outfits. Slow health recovery over time. Stitch stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to see in here. Are you kidding me? It provides the same on a sale, but three slots? <gasps> it's beautiful. Fire resist and ice resist. Meh. Especially we're supposed to charge up more powerful shots. Sharpshoot. Keep the bowstring drawn on the specialized hunter bow to charge up more powerful shots. Merchants here, though. Should have brought a cart. Some place. Oh, these are the uh, other places. Oh, I'll sell the socks. And maybe that's a little bit too many echo shells. Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep 200 of each material.
Well, since I know I don't really need these, I can sell them. It's prophecies. Others say if I need to. So it requires some crystal that I don't have. I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander. I suppose you wish to speak. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life, for all Banuku need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Orea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an Outlander's. This Damon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, he rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. Well, that's on the way. So we'll go grab it. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Rhea. To do that, I need to talk to her. Apprentice. Outlander, wait, wait weapon. a moment. That weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. This? It was made by an acquaintance of mine. Ah, a shaman. Uh, no. More of a... Tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the <gasps> help of the old ones. Yes. Far north of here, there is a cave, a, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds perfectly normal. Remember what I said, but tell no one. They're making dyes. That's so cool. Okay. Well, I want to head there. Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. Wait, they actually have names. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. Alright, I'll keep watch tonight. Okay, never mind. They have names, but not interactable. Oh, 
that the Nora would do. What brings you, Karja, so far from your home? There's good machine hunting in the cut. Danger, too. Some have a taste for both, and they pay people like me well to guide them. We've had a bad run this time, even after I brought this priest along to read the signs. I did say the sun's light was cast quite red the night of the... Not your concern, though, Huntress. May your arrows find their mark. May the sun she grant you a... A portion of its wisdom, young. I don't know what that is, but we are going to go to this first. There's another merchant over there. Bergen said Arya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully, not too far. Oh my god, they can see me from so far away with my, without my stealth armor. They're about to last. Weakness is fire. They are much tougher than the um, counterparts in the mainland. I dealt 400 damage to that thing and it still lived. Scavengers. 
see how deep the damage goes. Scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even reactivate it. You know what's inside its head? Light means trouble. Jesus.
do. The fights are ridiculous. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? This is fucking stupidly ridiculous. Seriously? Fucking ridiculous game.
one of the tall next parts. It's heavy. Heart seems intact. The next one. in better shape than it was. Jump onto the tonic from here. reach its head.
Yay. Yeah, this way isn't that big. Hmm. 